My last video kind of ended abruptly, but this is uh, by exit 127 in Conway, so I went north to where it says the downtown exit. Just wanted to see if these lights um, are those funny lights. I guess they're not really that green on here. Okay, maybe they're not. Okay. But yeah, so that's the exit that I got off on. So that way is going north, even though that's actually what, 40 west. Um, looks like we do have those parked here, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. There could be a fence over there too, so maybe this doesn't matter. Um, but I came over here to check this out, but I had to put batteries in my um, camera, so that's why I stopped here. So this is what we see. Oh, there's also that. I don't know if that's important because that's just like one little thing, but this is what it looks like here. That's Panda Express, the Waffle House, Subway, and uh, simply stay in and sweets. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna see if there's anything over there. Okay, so this is turning onto, I'm actually, I don't know what road this is, but exit 127. Um, now I'm going towards like in town. So that's at the entrance back onto 40 West, if you're gonna go that way. But I just wanna see if there are any kind of funny lights here for people trying to leave and get onto this onto 40. So over there is what we see. <clears throat> Nothing funny yet. Well I guess I don't know. There's the blue on the gas station, but I don't know. I don't know about those lights. Let's see. Actually, I don't think so. Um, I can't see what I just tried to zoom in there. I think I, I think it was off center. Not sure about that one. I know I sound like a nut, but I think that there's a, a pattern here that goes on. But actually in this case, right now, I mean, I don't really see anything that looks funny. I see something purple to the right there. I think it's possibly on some kind of business or something. Let's see. That's definitely one of those lights right there. I couldn't really show it to you, I guess. Yeah, I don't really see anything else though. Actually, besides mercury vapor lights on that, so yeah, that's what this looks like. So I'm gonna stop this. All right, I'm just gonna continue recording here, I guess. Um, just because I think I noticed. I wonder if they actually have a different kind of strategy here where they don't put it on this. Oh, that's interesting. So one of these lights looks like it has more violet in it, right? There, see how that looks greener? They, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. There's just like a different kind of strategy. I'm gonna pause this. So actually I think that was just a cycling light that I looked at now when I think about it because the light above me was orange and it just shut off. Okay, so at first I thought they had other lights that were like mercury vapor lights dispersed with these, but you can't see this right now. This is actually an orange light in a fixture I think that looks the same as these. Let's see. Okay, these are actually LED fixtures, I guess where there are like multiple LEDs in there. That is so weird, right? And they gotta have the purple defective lights. You know, look at that. I wonder if these things are just really expensive or what, guys? Like they need the purple ones that become purple defective. They could just use these things. I don't know, maybe these things do become purple. I'm not sure. Maybe I haven't seen enough of them. Actually, over there, looks like we have a funny, funny light, but it doesn't look very green on it. Well, now it looks kind of green. I'm gonna wanna, I want to walk over there and take a look at that. So I think it's a different kind of light. Okay, so we have another funny light. This is another one of those lights at Walgreens here. 
the other one. Oh, that is the same light, I think. Or shut off. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, this, I was looking down, I was looking straight ahead of us instead of at the light. Um, yeah, so that's an example of one of those lights. If we zoom in down the street, I think I also see some funny lights down there. See how that's greener? And that's greener than the other one, guys? It's like they have mercury vapor lights interspersed with these. I'm gonna go check those out. I wonder if they actually turn orange. Let's just, I'm gonna sit here and wait and see if they turn orange. Okay, so it's been about a minute and those haven't changed. I still see the ones that look greener there than the other ones. So we're gonna drive down there and take a look at them. I don't even think those are actually orange lights. All right, I'm gonna pause this. Oh, by the way, this is at the intersection of um, Hark Rider, H-A-R-K-R-I-D-E-R, -E and Oak. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my car. By the way, uh, I don't know that these are funny lights here. That's, so this is at Merriman. Street and uh, Park Rider with an H. I'm gonna walk down here real quick just so we can take a look at another one of those lights because it looks like they actually have a mercury vapor light right here. I guess I'll zoom in a little bit on this, but I actually want to see what it looks like without driving past the thing. I actually want to see if it looks like those other ones the other LED ones. But notice how that's like the odd one out. It's not even as bright as the other ones, guys. But like, why would they do that? <coughs> I can visually see the difference, but that's because I look for them. I'm not sure if it's apparent even without glasses. With glasses, it's easily refracted with any kind of angle on my glasses. Like if I'm not looking straight at it, when I look straight at it, it looks slightly greener, but not a lot greener than the other ones. I guess I don't see others around here with the same kind of looking kind of fixture though. So um, this isn't necessarily one, like one among other ones that look the same shape or anything like that. But I'm wondering if this is what the other ones look like and we can drive past it. But I want to get a closer look at it if it is like this one. Okay, this just looks like an old style mercury paper light. at the intersection of Factory Drive Mer um, Merriman Drive Merriman Street Factory Street and Merriman Street Looking down there I see another one It looks like another one, but for some reason it's not showing up broke green when I zoom in from here. I'm not sure what the reason is for that. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to my car. I'm gonna drive down and see if those other ones look like they're in the same fixture or different ones. By the way, so out of these lights, like most of these are white, but then we have one right there that's, it doesn't look as green, guys. That's the thing about this. It doesn't look, to someone who's not paying a lot of attention, like if you ask somebody to look at it, maybe they'll notice, but otherwise that's not really much greener than the other ones. The other ones are just white and that's close to white. But on camera, you can definitely see it because some kind of spectrum of red or something gets neglected by the camera and it just shows you whatever other red would be there besides that one. I don't know if it's because of red eye or what it is, like what causes that phenomenon with cameras, but for some reason mercury vapor shows up I don't think I have the red eye adjustment on here either. It just shows up greener. So I'm gonna pause this. By the way, that light that shut off before, it's orange right now. So there's proof. 
Um, I can't prove it by looking at the street, but that actually is the same light. Zooming in on it again. It's orange. Okay. Oh, it just shut off, see? But before, that's the one I noticed looked greener. So I thought it looked kind of like the other lights. Oh, I think the other light that I was looking at that was greener is over there, but it was behind a tree. That's why I didn't see it again when I walked over there. And then that's the other one by Walgreens. I mean, I understand that they look rather insignificant compared to the other ones, but I don't know what frequency. I just know what some of the frequencies are that I can see with these, but I don't know. Like, it's a, if it's a higher spectrum frequency, it's likely to scatter a lot, like in the sky, where it can be seen from different angles, but it's not going to be very intense light. If it's some spectrum of red, it's not likely to scatter as much, but it might reflect off the ground or something like that. And you would think, well, why would there be more red in it? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's just a really narrow spectrum of red or something like that in those. I don't know what it is. I just know what the lights kind of look like. That might be a light that I didn't see before right there, too. Okay, it's, oh, it turned orange. It wasn't as orange before. So, what I'm going to do is drive down the street past the stoplight, and we're going to look at the other lights. Okay, this might be one of those lights that turns on and shuts off, but I did not notice that one before. That's interesting. That's not the same light that I looked at that's behind the tree over there. That's actually way over there. Uh, that's further north than the other light. So there are other lights here. I think they would possibly have a different strategy here. But if people get over to that point, this is what I believe. I believe these lights have something to do with stopping people an evacuation. Oh, they shut off, by the way. I think the lights have something to do with evacuation and stopping an evacuation. <coughs> After looking at the positions of some of the lights, or they just happen to be in those kinds of locations. I don't know if there's another explanation, but in Pittsburgh, Kansas, I know there are different kinds of lights, but with the purple lights, at least like the ones in the parking lot, I noticed that they, I noticed it before, like six months ago, the way that they were, and I wondered if they would uh, block people from leaving. They extended the tree line at Hudson. If you look at my other videos, you have to look through my YouTube videos. And I have to admit, I, I'm not very, you have to watch a lot of film, but I did start annotating. So if you just look at the notes, sometimes I have notes about what I show in the videos. Um, the last few videos in Pittsburgh, Kansas, I didn't do that because I just didn't have time. Uh, at some other point I may do that, but you could look at the notes. But um, I don't know what I named that one actually, but it's in Pittsburgh, Kansas. They extended a tree line. That was like one of the things that concerned me to start with. It looked like construction at first, but now it's a bunch of weeds and it doesn't look like they're gonna do anything with it. Um, so now it's harder to like, it's easier for traffic to get jammed at that tree line. It's also a ditch on the other side. And I noticed that earlier in, in another video, like six months ago, um, if you look for it, you can find it, but eventually, um, yeah, this, the other side is becoming just weeds like the other side. So it's like they systematically narrowed that road on Hudson to make a bottleneck. And you'll have to check that out. That's on West Hudson in Pittsburgh, Kansas. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I tend to kind of talk, so. But I, I think all this together, actually, I don't just, I don't think I can just think it. I actually really believe it. I believe that there is an effort to limit people being able to leave cities at some point. And if they're doing that, I don't think that it's just going to be a thing where they tell people they have to stay like they do in China and put paddle locks in their neighborhoods. I don't think that would work here. If they're doing that, how are trucks going to bring goods like to people in cities and stuff like that? You got to really start to think about what that means. To me, that means it's going to be like chemical gas or something where people have to leave and they can't leave because they're not going to just people would just start their own little counties or whatever or sub counties and just say well this is our county here you know like it would just be what would the government do get on their knees and ask how they can be your government in a time of i don't know maybe crisis but then with the pandemic this just seems like a bunch of like a worldwide effort to depopulate in my opinion and i know that that may not help get a lot of views on this video but if you see this video please check it out Okay, uh, we're going to go look at those other lights, but I've seen a, a number of cities and I keep saying the same kinds of things. And I think a lot of these efforts have been, a lot of these strategies with the lights at least have been around for a while. 
if they're using lights, what else are they using? It should really bother you if you think about it. All right, like, you know, maybe the antenna is like on some of those like telephone poles. I don't know. I don't know what those are for, but um, I'm encouraging you to, to start looking for stuff. Okay, so this is at Merriman, and I'm turning on to um, Hark Rider. And we're going, I think, south. This is Oak Street. By the way, that's a very yellow light. Now I want to check out these other lights and see if they kind of look the same as the other lights. I guess... Let's see. Like that's an LED light, I guess. Nope, these look like the old style lights. Okay, maybe one of them is orange there, but I think I looked at this for a while and it didn't look like it cycled. That's... I think that pretty much stays the way it is. And the one on the right there, I think that stays the way it is as well. Um, you have to look at a map to look at this, where we're at, like, for off-road kind of stuff, or intersection, because I wasn't paying attention to that. So, actually, this intersection here is 3rd Street, spelled out. That's a Mercury Vapor Light right there. I'm not sure why it's in, why they use a Mercury Vapor Light there, when they could use these other ones, or, or what, but I think that there's a reason for it. Um, I can't drive around a plot like every street light here. I will drive down this though, I guess since I'm already here, down to the other point. I can actually also get that in this video. See it twice, I guess. But actually I kind of wanted to see the other lights on the way down there, so that's what we're doing. We got a cemetery here, by the way, that's fenced in. This is Bruce. I don't think, there are no other exits over to the highway, by the way. So that's, oh, looks like they're gonna do construction here. Got a, like a digging machine there. That's a really long LED that's like extra panels on these things but then they use mercury vapor lights at other points. So, you know, you go figure, I don't know. Got more of those lights right here. I guess there isn't as much lighting from buildings, I guess, besides that. Uh, there could be a rationale for that. Orange and the grass over there. Oh no, that's not on the grass, I'm sorry. I misspoke. It's in a parking lot, I guess. Orange light here. Oh no. I'm gonna pause. Sorry about that. Okay, looking at the oh there's a there's a green one over there. I had to, I paused it for like uh, less than ten seconds. I had to stop a bag from flying around in my car. This is, there's a railroad track right here. This is, oh, there's more sign on it. I don't know what this is. Oh, it says 60 West. Oh, maybe that does go up on the highway. Oh, that is, that's, that's the one we were at before. So I have to turn around, I guess. Okay, actually I don't have to turn around, I don't think. This is actually how we get over there, okay. So I think to the, there, those are like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's something purple over there by the electrical stuff there. Got yellow lights over there. Um, so I'm going to take a right here, and that'll get us over to those purple lights again. This is a fenced-in area here. It's a long fence, too. But, I mean, see it from this perspective. Now, I don't know. That's actually, I don't think there needs to be a light on top of that. But there's a tall structure there. We've got these purple lights here. Just a large swath of purple here. This is Equity Drive. 
but that's what that looks like. Honda World. Lots of purple lights. Right by where people would want to get out here. I don't think this stuff is a coincidence. If you do, you just haven't seen as much as I've seen. I don't know what to tell you. That's that construction. I don't know if you can see it, but if we zoom in, you can see a digging machine and a water truck there that's uh, putting water down so they can dig. And there is a fence somewhere over there. I don't know how far the fence goes, uh, but I don't know that it would really matter if somebody was able to get, get any traction through the grass. They, I don't know, they might be able to ram it. But actually, I'm not, there's also blue there. But I'm not sure that there's really a whole lot to show you here because I'm going to get back on the highway 40 and go where I'm going. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys give this some consideration because I don't think this stuff is accidental. I don't. <coughs> I didn't look at the north part. There's actually a north one to get on the highway as well, like a north exit or entrance, I should say. Um, you'll have to check that out maybe. I don't know.